Hello everyone and I Dr. Nikita welcome you to my pharma channel kindly like share subscribe my channel and keep watching for better understanding do not forget to post your comment for any of your required topic and of course better understanding so today we are going to see zeta potential in the colloids so to develop a potential around the charge particle you have some charges responsible for it so how charges are getting developed on to the solid particle first is because of the adsorption from the ion second because of the ionization of the surface group and third is because of the ph of the media so if this is the particle and which is dispersed particle interface surface and it is distributed inside the medium which is carrying many charges positive negative charges these ions are getting attracted toward the surface they are getting adsorbed onto the surface and they are imparting charges to the surface so they are getting adsorbed at the interface of the surface and they are imparting charges now second you have ionization of the surface group so these uh, particles are the or maybe organic molecules and they may contain some groups on to the surface so if this is cooh sh nh2 nh and these particles are dis dispersed into the solution may undergo association or dissociation and they may liberate the ion and becomes the charged particle so it will have coo minus h plus s minus s minus h plus nh3 plus nh2 plus so they may acquire or donate the uh, charges and uh, ions and they become charged particle next you have ph of the media now you know ph of the media influences ionization of the electrolyte so this ionization help to impart charges onto the particle so these are the three ways by which the charges are getting acquired onto the particle once the particle surface is charged how the potential is developed so this zeta potential itself particle potential developed because of this formation of the layer of the charges around it so once the particle is there inside the solution consider this particle which is the negatively charged we have taken this particle which is negatively charged because it is negatively charged it will attract all the positive ions from the surrounding solution so it is attracting the positive ions from the surrounding solution and this brown color layer which you can see it is the positive ion uh, layer which is tightly bound to the sur particle surface and it is the compact layer so this is represented by brown color and it is also called as the stern layer or the stationary layer or the compact layer once this compact layer is formed the particle charge may not get completely neutralized and it attracts further ions from this bulk of the solution towards it and it starts forming the second layer which is called as the diffusion layer so this green color layer is called as the diffusion layer double layer are getting formed one is compact layer and second one is the diffusion layer so from this bulk of the solution some more particles are getting attracted toward this compact layer and forming the layer now these are from the solution and some ions may have more stronger interaction than which then these ions which are getting already attracted into the diffuse layer and these ions may replace from may get replaced from this diffuse layer so 
some negative ions which are there into the bulk of the solution may replace some ions of this diffuse layer so slipping of this ion is taking place in this diffusion layer that's why this diffuse layer is also called as the uh, slipping plane or shear plane okay so this diffuse layer where the exchange of ion is taking place some shear is getting exerted due to the ion exchange it is called as the shear plane or the slipping plane so potential across this diffusion layer is called as the zeta potential so if you consider the potential at the particle surface this is the potential it is the surface potential now this compact layer potential which will be little bit less than the surface potential suppose it is here corresponding to here this is the stern potential or compact layer potential and it is following the down curve and the potential at this diffusion layer will be further less as compared to the particle potential and it may you may say this is the potential at this uh, surface uh, diffuse layer and this is uh, further following the down curve so as you go on increasing the distance your potential will decrease and in the bulk of the solution if you see here this this will this region is the bulk of the solution where your potential becomes the zero so this layer with uh, around the diffusion layer you have the potential which is called as the zeta potential okay so potential across this diffuse layer is a zeta potential and this zeta potential gives stability to the particle it's a self potential of the particle which imparts stability which gives more repulsion reaction to the other ions help to maintain the uh, distance between the ions and maintain the system as a deflocculated system and maintain the stability of the system okay so if you consider the scale when the zeta potential is measured if this is zero this is the plus sign uh, scale and this is the minus uh, side scale so at 40 the potential plus minus 40 the particle has a stable uh, stability so zeta potential plus minus 40 above 40 is a stable system and at 10 plus minus 10 the system is unstable system so when you have zeta potential uh, between zero plus minus 10 it is the unstable system which these are the measurement for the potential of the system so uh, if you consider yourself as a particle to understand in a better way consider yourself as a particle and you have your family members as your compact layer because they are very close to you and they are forming a tight layer around you that is a compact layer but you have friends also so those friends are forming the diffusion layer around you it's another layer so the you may have you get some friends your friends are keep on changing okay but good friends always remain with you and they give stability to your life they give good guidance good um, understanding so your friends help you to become better so the same way the diffusion layer is also imparting the stability to the particle and uh, stability to the system so this is the zeta potential about the um, colloidal kindly like share subscribe my channel and keep watching my channel for better understanding thank you very much